Hi, what's up guys? Um, welcome to another video uh, tutorial. Uh, but like this time I'm gonna switch things up a little bit uh, and respond to a question that I got on LinkedIn. Um, so yeah, so basically the question was what do I do on a day-to-day -day basis as a data scientist where I'm currently working? And the answer to that question is a little bit complicated because depending on which company you work for and the kind of company you work for, then that would define your role as a data scientist. For example, a data scientist at a startup does a different um, data science role to a person who works for like a large corporation. So um, I'm going to define the role of a data scientist on a broad sense. Um, as a data scientist, your main job is to inspect data and then you provide insights um, and then you report that to your line manager, right? Um, so, but like, and, and, and also there's um, the supporting roles to a data scientist. Um, first of all, you have a data engineer. So as a data engineer, the role of a data engineer is to make sure that, you know, data is accessible in the most efficient way and cost effective and also secure at the same time, right? And then another role that you would have is a machine learning engineer. A machine learning engineer is somebody who trains models and deploys them. Uh, train models. Say for example, you work at a retail company and then you want to do a demand forecasting. So a machine learning engineer, they, what they would do is uh, take the previous transactional data and then you know just aggregate it to the number of products that were sold on a particular day. And then you would take the transactional data, train a model to say on this particular day we sold this many products. And then you can take that model after you trained it and then uh, inference it with the future data to say on this particular day you will probably most sell um, a particular number of products. So that's what the machine learning engineer would do. And then you would have your machine learning uh, researchers. Uh, machine learning researchers these are people who uh, extend the state of the art of machine learning, right? So your guys from DeepMind and the Google Brains, uh, they would use the, the large amounts of data they have and then compute power using Google's TPU to train like large, large um, models. And then they would publish the papers and then share that with the public. Uh, for example, DanceNet is a, it's a large model they built for classifying images. Um, and then lastly, you would also have a software engineer, right? The software engineer basically is to make sure that um, the different um, sections of your product executes properly. Uh, say, for example, if you're building, building a smart speaker, the software engineer would make sure that, hey, when you say Alexa, uh, right, you know, that's an activation keyword for, for Alexa. Alexa then would know whatever you say afterwards, they should probably execute, like, tell me a joke. And then, you know, they would go through randomizing jokes and then tell you a joke. That's a function of a software engineer to make sure that all these separate components work together in unison. All right, so now I'm going to... Uh, uh, also, another role of a data, data scientist is that you identify opportunities, right? If you have access to, like, unified flow of data, like you have access to this uh, large sum of data and you situate it at a company, you can look for opportunities to add value using machine learning or, or inspect the data and then provide insight. That's, you know, your core function of a data scientist. So now I'm just going to go to my role as a data scientist. Um, so I've, I've worked in, I think, a number of uh, companies. Um, so there was a contract gig that I did at Cape Town. There's a community-based um, center where they have a video games where the community can go there and then play video games. So what they had was a database of the demographics of the users and also the, the usage data, right? Like who plays what game for how long, that, that kind of stuff, right? So the contract gig that I had there was to take the demographics data. First of all, you have to clean the the usage data because like it had a lot of duplicates um a lot of usernames that you know somebody today changed their username for the following day but it's basically the same player so you need to accurately measure how long they played so you had to clean that up first and then you join the two databases and then report on the statistics like you know the this age category prefers this particular game at this time of the day and then i would send that back in a you know presentation form back to the company that I was doing that for. So that was basically, you know, the, the core uh, role of a data scientist. And then I've, uh, 
I've worked at a startup. Uh, so what happens at a startup is that because it's a small team, right? I'm um, saying if it's a just a team of data scientists. Um, I don't advise, but like say that's how you guys started as just a team of data scientists. You would have to wear multiple caps. You have to wear the cap of you know your machine learning engineer, or you have to wear the cap of you know the data engineer. So like basically the the core role of a data scientist a machine learning engineer and yeah so that would form at uh, this particular role called an applied machine learning um yeah applied machine learning right so that's where you bring in data science and machine learning together so in a startup um you're going to be doing that you're going to be wearing multiple hats you would get um a huge amount of data that you would have to figure out a way to process because uh you know the the machines that we have are not built for large data sets so as a data scientist you would get like a project and it has like a very huge uh data i'm talking hundreds of gigabytes and then you would have to find a way to process that data and then you know develop whatever the product the the, the customer needs from it now if you work at a um large corporation now this is me starting to answer the question that i got on what i do on a day-to-day -day basis um apart from you know coffee breaks um you, you take a lot of those uh, apart from those so you would be involved in like a lot of projects that are all going at this um concurrently right so at the large corporation you don't have that luxury that you have at a startup because at a startup you would have a project that requires you to wear multiple hats so the project timeline would be a bit extended and you know you would have to fulfill all these other roles to the best you know like you know so you would have to learn some stuff you have to do some research so that you can be able to like you know, execute the, pro uh, the project at a large corporation um there's a section that's responsible for the data engineering part you just have access to it as you get logging credentials and then you get access to the data and therefore you would be involved in multiple projects all running at once that means you don't actually have the time to learn anything you don't have the time to make any mistakes i know cash 22 but like yeah so that's what you do at the at the large corporation you are involved in multiple projects that are all running at the same time um meeting with uh with clients every day you know just to give them a status update to give them you know the the problems that you ran into you're gonna run into a lot of problems and yeah a bunch of escalations and then yeah basically that's that's what i do on a day-to-day -day basis